All right, so nay, R O B, nay Rob. So this is going to be a two-part video. This first one is going to be an introduction. It's pretty much, you know, from a gentleman's perspective of an individual such as me and my experience, you know, and hopefully other dudes will, you know, will follow in suit and kind of do the same thing so you can actually get different perspectives on what you're talking about or whatever, you know, because I wish other people would do something like this. You know, they probably do, but I'm not sure, you know. I figured that's why they call it social media, right? So in this introduction, I'm going to mention three people. Those three people are my mother, my grandmother, and my older cousin, just to break the ice so you can find out this duality of how I'm going to approach your video, because I've already watched it. I got my notes and everything, so I'm getting this introduction out the way. So the reason why I... I say I can relate to some of your topics because I would have to go back and watch all your shit because <laughs> that's what I usually do. Like I go back and I watch their old stuff, like people that I'm subscribed to, especially if they're interested. If they're not interested, I'm not going back in history of shit. I just catch your shit when you make a, a new video. But um, I am going to take some time out my days to go back and watch, you know, some of your other videos and everything like that. I'm not, I'm not going to respond on them because like, I'm not going to say they're old or anything like that, but I came in around this time or whatever. But, um, where am I at right here? Well, yeah. Okay. So, you know, if you heard me in the other videos, um, I don't know if it's a couple or not. I don't know how many of them. But, you know, I've dated older women, which ain't no secret, starting at 16 years old. And the woman, the women, their ages, you know, pretty much they, they jumped up rapidly from 21 to 25 to um, 30 something on up. You know, now and I didn't have sex with them all. So just I keep that in mind. Keep that in note. And I'm not going to try to make this seem like I was some Mac Daddy, like when I was, when I go to your page or whatever, you know, because I'm pretty sure plenty of guys could, could say the same thing. But um, I was mature for my age at that time. So older women were drawn to me, some of them, and I was automatically drew to them anyway. And I still like women my age because I was in high school or whatever, but there was something about an older woman that I was curious about, you know, my mother, <laughs> my mother said, we were talking about this. I forgot when we were talking about this. I think it was around my birthday. My mama said, you remember that, uh, that one woman that was picking you up and dropping you off from school and everything. I was like, mm. I was like, what? Who was picking me up and dropping me off? This was like years ago. Whatever. You know, so my mother said, yeah, you had that, that woman, picking you up and dropping you off and everything. And she said to me, she said, if she go to jail, that's on her. And I was like, mama, she from my school. And one thing, I couldn't lie to my mother. It was impossible. It was impossible to lie to her. And I'll get into her intuition because that's where I'm going to get into what I received from her is intuition for my mother. Um, my mother is a Leo, by the way. You know, and, you know, she's the type of person as her being an individual, as a Leo, she let shit build up. And it's like, I'm going to get you later. But you ain't seen what I saw, but I get you later. I catch you later. So about older women, for example, you know, when you catch someone staring at you and then you look at them and they look away real quick, like I caught you. You don't say that or whatever. You know, so. That was, I mean, that was common in school when an older woman did. I was like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. What you, what you looking over here for? What you, what you lose over here? You know? So, you know, I'm her son. And, uh, you know, she she's always going to get the last word. No matter what we're talking about, I'll let her have the last word or vice versa. But most of the time, like when she wants to talk and vent, then I'll let her go ahead and talk or whatever. And, you know, I'll give my opinion or whatever we're talking about and everything like that. And, you know, I'm the type of dude for my mama, I'll soften up for her a bit, you know, 
That's my mom. But she knows I'm a Taurus. I mean, she not into that astrology shit like you and I and everybody else, you know, who are into astrology. But, you know, she she knew and I know, you know, when to stand down or, you know, take control. You know, so she has to have the last word, you know. Um, she's, she's a very strong person. You know, she can... We can spend hours on the phone speaking about her life, and we've done that ever since I turned 18. You know, things that most people probably don't know or would tell their son or daughter or siblings or, you know, however you want to put it. And, I mean, it's like, it's, it wasn't horrible things, but it was just like, damn, it pissed me off because this is my mom. You know, and I'm like, how could someone do that to a person? Not just being my mom, but just a person, period. And, you know, my grandmother is the same. You know, she has some wild stories. And she's from Mississippi. Not, not Mississippi, Mississippi. You know, she's she's from she's from Chula, Mississippi, a small ass, little ass town, village in Mississippi. That motherfucker is probably like up the street and back where everybody at. It was a railroad, blah, blah, blah. It's very small. I was like, damn, that little there? She was like, yep. Anyway, so my grandmother, you know, she's kind of the same. You know, like I said, she has wild stories. And, you know, then my my cousin, on the other hand, this is where the masculine part comes in. I had a strong cousin, which I mentioned before, you know, with insight, you know, who had a hand in, in raising me, you know. And like I said, again, the alpha male. You no, know, the, the true alpha male. You no, know, no bullshit. What's no bullshit with him? You couldn't just could, you couldn't sleep. <laughs> you couldn't get shit past him. It wasn't gonna work. So you you already know to keep your hands in your pocket, metaphorically. Don't make no moves or whatever. You know. But uh, you know, him. You know, he has has a, he still has his own business. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on with his business or whatever, but. He has a business, you know, especially when I was growing up. And um, he's a Gemini. <laughs> yeah, my older cousin was a Gemini. So me being raised by a Gemini is, is I, I kind of like it, you know what I'm saying? And he, he, he's very intimidating, especially when I was a child. I mean, he has that James Earl Jones voice, very deep, you know, and I'm a tourist. You know, but of course, at that time, I was a baby tourist, not knowing anything about my worth, um, nothing about astrology and anything like that. I just knew my birthday was in May. So, you know, we clashed a little bit, you know, because, you know, he was my actual first coach in sports. You know, he took me under his wing because he knew that there wasn't no father figure. there. Um, and the thing about with him, as I knew growing up, is he never... He just never chose the right woman. I don't know why. Still to this day, I don't think he has one. I, I think he probably dates. I think he dates. I don't know. I haven't spoken to him in a while or whatever because I know he got there's some shit going on over there. But my mom be telling him, I was like, ah, I ain't getting into that shit. I, I don't know how y'all can get into it. I ain't getting into it. But it seems like he never chose the right women. And I knew this at an early age. You know, I mean, he was picky with his women like I am. He loved exotic women of every race because he didn't have Cambodians, Filipinos, Hispanics, and, you know, melanated females. I ain't never seen one with a white girl. Maybe in high school. I'm wrong. In high school, he went to prom with a white girl. So, but that's the only white girl I ever seen him bring over. I mean, those are the only ethnicities that I seen him around or he brought around us or at his house or whatever, you know. And, um, you know, I'm young, so I can't ask questions, you know, but th those women never stuck around, you know, but he had everything he wanted, like everything. He has the American dream. He just can't choose the right woman. I, I think he owns this house. I mean, he's 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 good. I don't think he should be working 16 hours a goddamn uh, uh, a day or whatever or how, however long he works or whatever. But it's like, damn, dude, you need to just sit back and chill or whatever. And um, his <laughs> this woman is crazy. I don't even know her sign. I'm, I asked my mo my mother 
the next time and I'll just like tell you, oh yeah, you know, his second baby mama sign is blank or whatever. But she used to whoop his head. I don't know if she's still doing it now or not, but when we was young, she used to whoop his head. You know, she used to try to fight him and everything. Because he didn't want to be with her. He just like, hey, you want to be with her. Like, well, what what where cuz at? You know where he at? Yeah, I, I know where he at. I ain't seen him for a while. I was like, oh shit, they didn't fight me. Everybody saying, I hope he don't hit that woman. Nah, he won't. But like I said, he he still just didn't choose the right women. And uh, for some reason, any woman that got close to him, she pushed them away. And they're not even together. And I don't know if this is still true, but you know, when I was living around there, she used to live with him. But they wasn't together. And I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get that. I mean, is it just because they have a child together? Are they roommates? And he's about, I think, about five years older than you. If I'm not mistaken. He's going on. He's going on 50. Is he going on 50? He's probably he's probably finna be 49. Did my mama turn 50? I think my mama like 50 or finna be 51. But anyway, you can imagine like back in those days, I was dating girls around my mother age or whatever. So, but anyway, he wasn't a small guy. You know, his birthday is in June. Like I said, he's a Gemini, close to Father's Day. And he's not a small guy. He, he never hit women. You know, I've never heard any stories of that, you know. And a great example of a man, in my opinion, you know, he wasn't on no bullshit. And when it came to his mind frame, I was his predecessor. Now, he has a son who was like my little brother. Even though we're cousins, we're like three years apart. And um, he's an Aries, too. You know, so that's the reason why he was like, OK, he told my mother, well, he needs a, a father figure around because he's just around all females. So he took me in and molded me. I would say 25, maybe I give him 45. I give him 45 percent of what I am now. Um, so what I'm saying is, as I go into your video, I had the best of both worlds. Now, when I say I didn't agree with you on some things, it's just that, you know, and I'm explaining why, you know, I pretty much thought like a woman and acted as a man. You know, for example, I know when a woman is lying to me for some reason. I don't know why. But if a woman is lying to me, I can look her dead in her eyes and I can tell you lying. I might not say it at first, but you lying. There's something about you. That's where my, my mother's intuition picked up. That's what I got from my mother is her intuition. So I got that from her. And uh, I just used to think to myself, like, what would my mom do? Or what would my grandmother do? And my sisters, they're younger than me on my mom's side. And my dad's side, who has 17 children. Yes, no bullshit. 17 children. Which of uh, three or four are not his, I think. But he has a lot of children. So I'm like, okay. I was like, I see I see where I'm getting all this shit from. From his side. Um, and that's the only thing I commended him. You know, his silly ass on. Because I came out the same way, you know, I take a child in that's not my blood only if that mother is strong enough to raise her own child or children, not several children, because I I didn't been there and done that. And that shit don't work. That's too much of a headache, you know, so maybe she'll have two or three children where if she has a young man that I can polish up or a young woman to polish up. Basically, if she let me in their lives, then that's what I was a part of. You know, I could come in and, and say, no, you're not doing that right. You should do it like this. So, you know, why are you acting up in school? And you know better than that. You know, just that big brother type stuff and everything like that. So uh, that's it for the introduction. So uh, you catch the next video. I'm going to be responding to your video. All right.